Hey guys, it's Karen. I'm your vegan soul mama. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. In this video, we are going to talk about sugar. Sugar is in everything. Before I begin that discussion, please understand I am not a doctor. I am not a nutritionist. Uh, if you have any questions about the information that I give you, please talk to your doctor, talk to your nutritionist and um, go to them for actual advice. I'm just sharing some things that have happened to me and as a result of what's happened to me, some of the changes that I'm making in my diet. All right, you guys, stay tuned. Have you thought about how much sugar you're eating in a day? The American Heart Association recommends that men eat about nine teaspoons of sugar, no more than nine teaspoons of sugar a day, and women, six which isn't a lot of sugar if you take into consideration the sugar is in absolutely everything and if you're not making a concerted effort not to eat sugar you're definitely eating um, sugar and probably not even aware of how much sugar you're eating because i know that was my situation so um i have arthritis in my left knee and my knee you know will act up after a workout but usually if i ice it um you know the inflammation goes down i really try to pay attention to my diet i try to eat foods that are not inflammatory i try to eat um what is it called like anti-inflammatory foods but uh in the last i would say month or six weeks no matter what i did the inflammation in my knee would not go down and i couldn't wear heels and I was having a real problem with it because it was um, affecting just walking every day. So most certainly exercising and I like to exercise. So I really started to take a look at, at my diet and I thought, well, let me take a look at my sugar. And then the other thing is I had other weird symptoms that I now know were probably sugar related, like being really thirsty. I could not quench my thirst. And then um, this is probably, you know, TMI, but I had to pee all the time, like all the time. I couldn't hold my pee. So I started really taking a look at the sugar that I was eating. I, um, like many people, thought that I don't eat a lot of sugary sweets. I know I did my vegan donut thing, but literally that would be the only um, like sweet treat I would have in a week. So I kind of thought I'm not eating a lot of sugar, um, not realizing how sugar is in everything. So for example, I used to um, drink a soy, um, creamer in the morning I put soy creamer in my coffee and it was vanilla flavored when I looked at the sugar content it was three grams of sugar for every two tablespoons and I love creamer so I would easily put four or five tablespoons in my coffee so now I'm consuming like 15 grams of sugar I've already doubled the recommended amount of sugar that you should have for the day and that was just with coffee not to mention the sugar that's in ketchup the sugar that's in my salad dressings the sugar that's in everything um and then the natural sugars i i love like dried mangoes i would eat those like four times a week and that has a lot of sugar in it it's natural sugars but i just kind of think that when you're eating a lot of natural sugars and you're eating a lot of refined sugar, um, your body just sees sugar as sugar and you can have some adverse reaction. And for me, it was um, the inflammation that would not go down in my knee and then also, you know, the thirst and um, having to pee all the time. So I really started paying attention to the amount of sugar that I'm consuming. Um, I'm trying not to have any refined sugar um, and I will have some natural sugars of course but I'm trying to keep that even um, much lower and so then that led me to also looking at my carbohydrate intake and um, vegans tend to eat a lot of carbs because we like our rice and our beans and our potatoes which is fine um, but I'm also trying to pay attention to my carbs. So lowering my net carbs to about 80 to 100. I think my net carbs were between 250 and 300. 
so quite a difference if I lower it down to about a hundred then I'm still getting like you know my smoothies the fruits that I want to eat the veggies that I want to eat just you know other things like some of the white flour bread or pasta products I'm eliminating from my diet so anyway you're gonna see moving forward um, low sugar meals or zero sugar meals lower not low carb most certainly not low carb but lower carb uh, meals as well so I hope you stay tuned to this series we'll be talking about some of the adverse effect of sugar in your diet and I'll be pointing out you know hidden sugars that you may not even think about that's in your food that could be you know adversely um, impacting your health I'll see you guys in the next video thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe bye